Hey guys, uh, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my health and wellness and sometimes a million other things channel. And I, it's been a while since I've popped in and said hi and I need to talk about some difficult stuff and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, see if anybody else is in the same situation. So basically I have noticed I have a habit of um, soothing my anxiety, let's say, or my difficult feelings. Um, with sensory pleasures, smells, tastes, right? Like we all kind of do it. We overeat or we um, drink alcohol or we, we buy things that give us pleasure. And um, I'm noticing I'm kind of developing a bit of a problem. Um, I mean, kind of have had a problem through COVID because I was managing it a bit, but um, Lately, I'm just kind of looking at my behavior and I keep kind of getting myself into a financial hole and then digging myself out, getting myself back into the hole and digging myself out. And a lot of times it's buying stuff um, just to make myself feel good, I think. And um, I love... I love all kinds of smells and scents and tastes and everything. You know, I've, I've talked a lot about tea and then lately I've really been getting into... Um, more like Lush and Bath and Body Works and all these kind of companies that really just like aggressively market to you. And because I have been trying to get a handle on my health by not overeating and not drinking too much alcohol, I think I'm shifting my anxiety treatment behavior over into these products that I, I feel like I need in order to sort of keep myself calm and do self care and like, let's light a candle and let's put on some nice moisturizer and let's drink some nice tea. And that would be fine if I had unlimited funds, but I've kind of been looking at it lately and I was not paying attention and feeling like I wasn't shopping that much, but actually I mean, I was shopping weekly, right? Like, and and not with cash that I had on hand, not like on payday because I got paid, but going outside, like trying to make a budgeting plan, which I'm usually really good at, and then a sale would come up and I'd be like, oh my God, it's such a good sale. I need to stock up, right? And so I would, instead of buying with money I had, I would be uh, putting it on my credit card and being like, I'll pay for it later. It'll all be fine, right? If this sounds familiar to you, please comment below. Um, I know I'm not the only one because, the, you know, I'm I'm on like Reddit subs and things like that where people are doing the exact same thing that I am, and I'm kind of looking at, at other people who have who have done no buys for exactly the same reason. And a no buy is when you kind of just go, okay, I'm kind of I'm cutting this off. I see that I have an addiction. I see that I have a problem. And for a set amount of time, I'm going to break the cycle. It's not just about finances. It's about, it's about that kind of craving and dopamine reward cycle from like shopping and obtaining. And I've already got like quite a stash. Like I still haven't bought tea in a very long time. And I'm proud of that because I'm still working through like a year long tea stash from when I went a bit nuts um, during COVID on tea. And now that I've cut myself off from tea, now I'm doing it with other things. So I've got like, in my storage room behind me, I've got like 12 moisturizers and 12 soaps. And um, I've got like 20 plus Christmas holiday related candles that I had to have, right? Um, yes, these things are giving me pleasure. Yes, these things are calming me down there, you know, but then that's being counteracted by looking at my um, credit card statement and realizing that I'm not suddenly making more money and in fact you know the world's going into a bit of a recession and I'm being really 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 irresponsible to the point where I I gotta admit I hide it a bit from my family and that's a really bad uh, sign so I know that I can get control over this um, it's all about intentionality and focus Basically, I'm just treading water through December, though, because, I mean, me being out and about and having to buy things for other people, um, I'm kind of trying to just focus on that, uh, but I can't go hardcore, like, cut off retail um, culture entirely out of my life in the middle of December. It's just not realistic, so I'm hanging on through December, but what I'm planning on doing is starting a, um, what, what, 
I'm going to call a, a low buy year. Um, I'm not going to call it an absolute no buy year because I am going to allow myself um, buying something for myself every payday and it's going to have a very limited um, kind of parameter to it and I'll talk a bit more about that in January because there are certain things like I you know if I run out of my hair conditioner I'm going to get more hair conditioner do you know what I mean or um, I need moisturizer on my face like I'm not going a year without moisturizer and I don't have a huge backlog of that so but it's going to kind of be a one out one in I don't know control sort of situation so that's why I haven't been coming on doing a bunch of hauls and stuff like that actually because even though I'm buying things I am I'm not wanting to encourage that kind of behavior um, in others because it's not actually making me win at life um, I love all this stuff I love I love enjoying all of these products but um, I am going to have to get myself back in the mindset of where I have enough and just developing gratitude for what I have Okay, so that's my check in there. Health and wellness wise, I'm doing awesome. Um, I am really, I'm gonna talk about it kind of when I get a little bit more um, success, but I'm having good success um, really being on track and finding something that's working for me. So that's doing well. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I'd appreciate a comment if, if you kind of understand where I'm coming from because sometimes it's embarrassing like it's just embarrassing because I I think of myself as somebody who's a grown-up and who can have hard conversations with myself and seeing myself kind of just be like a basic I don't know it's a shopping addiction let's call it what it is it feels um, makes me feel a little bit weak and vulnerable so that's me and uh, I wherever you are I hope that you're having a good holiday season I hope you and your family are safe and I'll try and come on a little more often and we will check in and you guys will hold me accountable okay take care <music>